Black fathers are dope because we are dedicated to our kids in a way that people just don't understand. We're optimistic in the face of the whole world telling us what we're not and what our kids aren't. It was a sunny Sunday in Brooklyn as BET Networks and P&G teamed up to host black fathers and their sons for a private luncheon in celebration of black males. The energy was high, the food was good, and the atmosphere was festive, setting the tone for a day in which these fathers and sons were able to come together to honor and show love for one another. What well, I love the best about my son is that he's uh, considerate, respectful, and he loves helping people. My son taught me, I've told him this, I don't think he really believed me, to be patient. I was not a patient person. He taught me that. And he taught me to hug my father. The most rewarding part about being a father is watching kids grow up, um, learn from their mistakes, and, uh, and get better in life, and feeling like you have a part, part of it. My dad is awesome, and he's dope, and he can play basketball. The event was also an opportunity to discuss BET's new study titled Black Men Revealed. Today, we are super excited to, for BET and PNG to, to partner on this Black Father and Sons event. We have been doing a ton of work over the past few months, really um, building up a program to help change some conversations and really talk about bias. The study recognizes the true humanity of black men in an effort to both challenge bias and expand the narrow definition of him in the media landscape. The way we are shown in most media is either uber successful, Barack Obama style, like uber successful, or we are on law and order as a criminal, right? And so that's kind of what, how we've been shown. And it's literally, there's very little in the middle. By bringing awareness to this issue, BET and PNG are working to reshape the narrative about how black men are seen in America. Why is PNG doing this? I mean, I, if not PNG, then who? Gatherings like this are so important, and I'm so proud to be a part of it. I'm glad PNG stepped up. I'm glad BET stepped up. This is important what we're doing right here. A panel of top influencers was convened to discuss how black men and youth can address the bias they are faced with daily. I'm Jeff Johnson, and I'm a black dad. Most of the older brothers in here know that, that, that men who are in there, who, who are our grandparents, they ain't had conversations with kids. That, that's not what they did. Kids didn't have conversations with grown men. My name is Mark Lamont Hill, and I'm a black dad. There are all these things about blackness that get assigned. The reason for this is partially linked to, is entirely linked to white supremacy, but also to the imperatives of capital. I'm Hill Harper, and I'm a black dad. We ultimately have to figure out ways to support each other and define our own destiny, rather than allowing a destiny be, be defined by folks who have institutional bias, institutional racism, systemic bias, systemic racism. All of you guys are accomplishing really in many respected areas. How do you guys confront bias? And so there's always these attempts to limit what's possible for us. And how I confront that bias is by one, pointing it out, putting a spotlight on it, or asking people questions. Why do you think I can't do this? Why do you think this is the case? What's the basis of this presumption? Forcing them to wrestle with their own uh, investment in institutional racism, use Hill's language, right? Um, but then I also try to be excellent. I'm in a position to make decisions and, and make impact with or without your biases or not. I want power to be shifted by how we do business, how we spend money, how we control policy, and the opportunities we make real as a community. And that happens when we shift their bias into our intentionality around growth and institutional development. And anybody got a question in the audience they want to ask to the panel? Why is image so important? It's much easier to enslave people if you see them as not human beings. It's much easier to lock people up if you see them destined for prison anyway. Is there a young brother in the room who has a question? All right, can we, can we hear from that young brother? What motivates you or drives you to want to be successful and want to do well for yourselves? My success is inextricably linked with yours. If I'm doing well and you're not doing well, I'm not doing well. So I need you to win. So I need to figure out ways to make you win. Because if you're not winning, I'm not winning. And if ever anybody in this room is not winning, I'm not winning. Your dad was looking everywhere else in the room 
about where the question was coming from. Because there wasn't no way you was going to ask the question. He literally was like, who got the, who got the question? Where, where's the, oh my God, you got the question? And then when you ask the question, for you it was a simple question, but for him it was profound because you asked it. And like, that's what makes this dope. Uh, I want to first just take a moment to thank these three brothers on stage for sharing your wisdom, um, sharing your insights, for the example that you set for not only me as a black man, but for all of us. I just want to say thank you and thank you for your time being here today. Thank you. BET is dedicated to telling the complete story about black men and will continue moving forward towards changing the narrative about black men. It's an opportunity to restore, respect, and celebrate his many faces and shift how the world sees him and how he sees himself.